Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, let's get started with a new grocery app using Flutter. Okay, and in this part one video of grocery app, we shall be discussing regarding the creation of splash screen as well as developing the get started page for this grocery app. And as usual, before entering into the coding part, let us have a brief view of the UI what we will be developing in this video and also the widgets what I have used for developing that UI. And as you could see here, I have used carousel slider for automatically sliding over these images and followed by which I will be having this get started button which is wrapped inside a container having a smooth curve. And I have also provided a gradient coloring for the container followed by which we will be having these two text widget which is wrapped in a row wise manner. Let's get started with the coding part. For implementing the splash screen, you should then need to go into the Android folder, inside which the app folder, followed by the source, the main, and the resource folder. Inside the resource folder, you'll be having another folder called drawable, and inside that, you'll be having a file called launch underscore background.xml, within which you'll be having this in a commented thing. You just need to remove that comments and we just need to specify the image name, the image file name. So in our case, I have been using this image as a splash screen. So this PNG, I have just saved this PNG image as a splash.png and I have just specified the name over here as flash. And you could also specify the background color as anything. In our case, I just left out with the white itself. You can have any color you want. With this, after specifying this, you will be able to have a splash screen for the app. So, in this way, in the splash screen. Now, let us get started with the get started page for our app. And before that, I will also like to show certain files what I have just defined early. So, I will be having a declaration folder within which I will be having certain dot files where I will be statically specifying certain color values and a set of image their relative path and all those things and the offers the static value of a code promo code everything so i will be just having all those things inside the declaration folder and in the main dot, dot file i'll be having just navigation to the carousel page and in this carousel page is what we will be developing the get started page so now let's get started with the coding session okay Okay, now let's first build the carousel slider. So this is how it will be looking like the sliding animation. So we shall just first develop that. And it will be inside the body. Okay, so first let us define the body. The carousel slider as well as the container where the button is placed is wrapped inside a column widget. Okay, and let us give the main axis alignment as main axis alignment dot space evenly followed by let us define the children for that column widget and the first child is the carousel slider itself and the item count and all those things let us define it manually First, the parameter it takes is the item count. It's scaffold a builder, so we'll be defining it as a builder. And which is the carousel images, what we have defined in a separate dart file. And let's give that length as the image count, followed by the item builder, which takes the build context. followed by the index this item index in our case which is a container within which we will be having all those image assets inside the container let us define the child which is the image dot assert of carousel images of index it's item index 
okay so we have already defined all the set of images in this assets folder so here you could see the set of images what we need to have inside a carousel slider so i have just defined it over here and this item index iterates the number of times that there is the number of images that is being defined in that dot file okay and you can also fit i think it should be written over here i'll be using box fit dot fill and the width i will be defining as the maximum width it could take that is double dot infinity and there are a few other parameters you need to have which is options which takes the carousel options i think okay inside which we will be having we will be setting the autoplay so this is for automatically sliding over the images if you set that as false you just need to have a manual swiping of the images to see the information so i just set it as true so then it will be having an automated sliding option at a certain specific time followed by you can also have enlarge center page as true just want that to be enlarged okay followed by the viewport fraction we just need to specify i will be just giving it as 0.9 and the aspect ratio i will be specifying it as 1 followed by the initial page that is the zeroth index follow okay let's format it now we have just specified that carousel slider uh, we have just implemented this slider now we shall just start building this container and the get started button okay now let us just uh, jump out of that carousel slider inside which we will be having another column which takes the children widget and the first child is the container for that get started button okay In the container let us specify the decoration which is the box decoration which takes the parameters as border radius first which is border radius dot circular which may specify as 10 followed by the color you need to specify that is the gradient color now i guess it is the linear gradient which takes the colors and the values i will be specifying in this followed by colors dot light blue accent which is one color and followed by another color which i'll be giving the value instead this 0x ff 2508 and again ff now i just want the ending to be the same color that is the blue accent format okay which is good and just want to specify the begin and the end okay which is alignment dot center right and it should end at alignment dot center left okay now we have just specified that container color and the border radius now we shall just specify the height okay the height for the container we need to specify which is i think we should jump out of that box decoration and let's just give the height as 50 for now and the width it should be taking it as something media core control dot size the device width minus 20 pixels it should be somewhat spacing on the left and right which will be good and now it's time for providing a child for the container which is the rise button okay and the child for the rise button is the text which is the get this is get started text and you could also specify the styling 
sorry style so saying the text style where i will be specifying the color first which is colors dot white followed by the font size which is 22 i will be giving followed by the font weight i just want that to be bold so i'll be giving the font weight as font weight dot bold okay format it now we just need to have an on press event this set it as whenever the user presses that button i just want them to navigate to another page that is the dashboard page that is the main page of our grocery app okay i will be writing that code over here i will be using navigator dot push replacement named of because i have already specified that in the main dot file which is context followed by dashboard page okay and we just navigating to the dashboard page so i oh yeah, i am giving this push replacement name is that i just don't want that back arrow to be appended over that screen so actually if you just use navigator.push you will be able to notice that a back arrow being placed at the top left corner and the app bar so i just don't want that back arrow button over my screen so i just use plus replacement name instead of navigator.push okay and you can also specify that elevation you just need to specify the elevation because we will be wrapping this button inside a container so if you haven't provided this elevation then you will be having some back gray like effect over that container which should be somewhat odd looking okay, okay you just need to specify that elevation as well and you can also specify the color as colors that transparent because we have already set the color for the container with the leading gradient color so we just no need to give specific color for the rice button uh, so we just set it as colors dot transparent now we have just developed this container and we shall now move on to this row where we'll be having these two text widget okay all right now let us just jump out of that container and i just want a spacing between that container that is the button what we will be dealing with and the sign up text widget okay i just left a gap of 20 pixels and after that we will be having a row within which we will be wrapping those two text widget the row as usual take the children widget and the first child and before that let us say the main axis element just main axis element dot center i just want that to be center okay all right for the row the main axis element is horizontal and for the column the main axis element is vertical for your reference okay now the first child is the text widget inside which we will be having the text as If you don't have an account you just need to sign up and the styling what will be applying is text style you can use where i'll be just setting the font size alone okay and just need to have a comma over here okay format it and once it is done you just need to give a gap since it is a row just have to specify the width to have space in between them and followed by the next text is just copy paste it more likely to be same i just want that text is sign up okay and the text font size is same let us just give color as well color start blue would be nice followed by the font weight i just want that alone to be what bolder okay so we could just specify that also now i think we have just completed this carousel slider this container as well as this two text widget hope you understand that 
if you like this video just give a like and if you haven't subscribed to my channel just subscribe so then you won't miss any of the next update i am gonna post in the upcoming sessions and in the next video we shall be discussing regarding the creation of this dashboard page dashboard page we will be dealing with the list of offers and the set of items that we could just make use of and uh, many other features so just stay tuned till the next update okay guys thanks bye